Hey, do you like supporting Author on Wheels? Want to wear the fancy logo with pride? Well, now you can, and so much more. You can choose from the OG Author on Wheels logo, or this author still stands for America logo. A popular one this year is the Your Stories Like Your Fingerprint logo. Or you can simply rock the You Don't Have to Have Wheels to Tell Your Story. These designs come in many selected items, such as t-shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts, polos, tank tops, baseball caps, sportswear, kids' clothing, and cool accessories such as cuddle toys and aprons, buttons, pillows and mugs, drinkware, bags and backpacks, and even some awesome stickers. Head on over to the Author on Wheels merch shop and get yourself some awesome new merch today and continue your fight, my friend. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Author on Wheels podcast. I'm your host, John Wood, author of A Fight to Survive. We are finally getting ready to kick off Season 6, Episode 2 of our podcast with an incredible follow-up interview with my friend Aston Clark, or as she's known, Aston the Autistic Author. So grab a Hello. drink, pull up a chair, and get ready for the Author on Wheels podcast. Aston, welcome to the show, my friend. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good. There's the clapping. <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. So, Aston, it's been what? two years since you've been on the yeah, podcast? Yeah, yeah. Long time. And a, a lot of stuff has happened since it then. Has. So why don't you, why don't you just go through, go ahead and go through and tell us, just give us a little bit of a snippet of what's going on in uh, your life. Well, I've been writing more. I've been um, writing a lot of stories and I've been working on part two of my life story. And um, good. yeah, and um, I've recently got a job. Um, I'm a expert by experience, so I um, so we have this thing in the UK called the NHS, the National Health Service, and it's mm-hmm. free. But um, mm-hmm. I go in and I talk to professionals about how to better support autistic people and people with learning disabilities. So that's pretty cool. That that is incredible. Like, thank you. How did you get started with that? Um, my life coach actually kind of hooked me up. <laughs> she um she gave me all the info and she um referred me to this other person who I met, who's really nice, and um yeah, went from there. Wow. So it seems like you are the local autism expert. In yeah. your area, which which so, yeah. to me is, which to me is mind boggling because here in the states we have representatives that do that for us, but yeah. we also have what's called self advocation services. Yeah. We can self advocate for ourselves, which is what I do, and yeah. it seems to me it seems that you're telling your story yeah. through advocation yeah. via this program. And, yeah. and for all of our listeners, can you tell us what it's called? So they Experts will look by up. experience. We'll have everything listed and linked for you guys down in the yeah. show notes. Um, if yeah. I figure out how to do that. Uh, yeah. We are currently on a new podcasting service called Riverside, um, yeah. which I honestly do not know how the hell to work. So I'm kind <laughs> of blind. I'm kind of blind blowing myself through this yeah. so i mean it's it's incredible so yeah. tell us about the writing you've been doing um i'll be doing and anything um, close to publication yet um i have published a few things um i've written more on the rainbow balloon series and also the fan series and i'm working on a new totally new thing called an open book which is about an autistic writer and yeah like myself <laughs> but um yeah doing all sorts of things that, that that sounds like i mean it sounds kind of like 
you're doing more for your self than anyone would ever yeah. think. You're, yeah. you're doing you're doing the best for yourself, and yeah. that's that's incredible because you're you know you're you're so independent and you're so thank you. You know you want to you know achieve these goals and you want to do these yeah. things and yeah. people. People need to understand that just because we have disabilities does not mean that we can't tell our own story. That we exactly. can't that we can't live the abundant life. We can't that we're... do things, you know? Exactly. Thank yeah. you. Yes. And I hate honestly, I hate's a strong word. I dislike when people say that about us because you yeah. know we have the brain power, we have the mobility, or not really yeah. the, we have the mobility of our brains to be able to think for ourselves yeah exactly and when people go behind us and think for us it's like okay then why do i have a brain i guess i should just take my brain out and replace it with a potato <laughs> and i don't i mean i'm not even sure i don't have notes i'm i'm just blind babbling here so yeah forgive me aston that's all right like, your your story Honestly, like I always say, your story is like your fingerprint. It's unique to you and yeah. can't be changed or reproduced. And no. the day you were born, your story was ingrained into your fingerprint. And yeah. that's the way that you go through life. You Yeah. It was already it was already planned out for you to be autistic and to mm -hmm. have everything that you've got going on for you. Yeah. But it was also planned out for you to have the ability to create for yourself a dream and a goal yeah. Yeah. and to achieve those goals, which you've been yeah. doing. Yeah. So, honestly, you, you've done a lot. You've done good for yourself. And I'm proud of you. And Thank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything for you in the show notes. If I know how to do that, yeah. I'll put all your links down there. And okay. you guys go follow Aston everywhere. Yeah. Uh, her books are available on Amazon. And I mean, what what's next for you? Like, what's next? What what does Aston, the autistic author, want to do next with her story? I guess I'm just gonna keep writing and see what happens. I guess. <sighs> you guys, you've heard it here. <laughs> this this woman is incredible, and. <laughs> You know, every time we have you on the show, it's like, okay, she said this, now let's see what she's going to say next, and then you just <laughs> blow it out of the park. You know, I have, to ma I have to mash up everything that you've said over the last two and a half years and put it into one big episode, because yeah. you, you have a wealth of information, a wealth yeah. of a story to give, and I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. Thank so, you. I mean... Um, to be honest with you, yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this, but that, honestly, that's the best update I've gotten, and it's short, sweet, to the point, and I'm proud of it. Yeah. So, I mean, guys, that's the end of today's episode. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us on Riverside, uh, part of, uh, Spotify. Um, yeah. You can follow the podcast. We're available now on iHeartRadio. We're available on... God, I can't even remember where we're even available on anymore. We've we've exploded so much. <laughs> I'd like to thank our guest, Aston Clark, for joining us today on the Author of Mills podcast. And before we go, I'd like to impose a question. How are you telling your story? We all have a story to tell, and it's up to us to find our way to tell that story. Because as mm -hmm. I always say, and like I just said, your story is only as good as the person telling it. It's like your fingerprint. It's unique to you. It cannot be changed or reproduced. So with that being said, thank you guys for listening, and we will see you on the next episode. Aston, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.